Hey folks, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we're in Port Angeles, Washington, uh, and what we're working on today is going to be a water pump. Customer states that the water pump, when they flip the switch, they hear the pump running, but it's not purging, or not purging, uh, siphoning. It's not siphoning any water. So what you do when you have a situation like that is, you'll see me, we'll, we'll go through this together. I'm going to get a, like a little Kool-Aid jug full of water, and I'm going to take a hose, I'm going to connect it to the input feed side of the water pump and we're going to take a hose and we're going to stick it in my Kool-Aid jug. It's going to be water, not Kool-Aid, but it just reminds me of an old Kool-Aid pitcher back in the day. I'm an old 70s baby, so we used to, oh yeah, Kool-Aid. So anyway, um, if the pump at that point siphons the water out of my Kool-Aid jug, pump's good. It's going to be a problem between the pump and the fresh water tank. If at that point the pump does not siphon water, it's going to be the pump. So we need to know which way to go with our troubleshooting. So what I'm going to do is basically do my Kool-Aid test, is what I call it, and uh, see which way to go. Are we going to go to the pump or are we going to troubleshoot a line going to the fresh water tank? If there is any air, if let's say if that water line is broken um, between the fresh water tank that's holding on your water and the pump, if there's any break or breach in that, then the pump is sucking in air and it's never going to prime. So we need to know which way to go. So let me uh, take you in a small hole down here, show you the pump, and then we'll set up a little harness, um, plumbing fittings and everything, and uh, we'll do our Kool-Aid test. So here we go. Oh, and it's raining, so we're going to get wet today. Yay. All right, here we go. Okay, here we have the water pump. You know, good, you'll use this is a standard pump you'll see it in a lot. This is the infeed side. It's the side that's got the filter. And this hose right here is the one that's going to go to the fresh water tank. So what I'm going to do is get in there. I'm going to unscrew this. Okay, I want my water to go in here. My Kool-Aid water is what I'm calling it. Okay, it's not Kool-Aid, it's water. So work with me here. So what I have here, I've got a jug of water. Okay, doesn't that look like a Kool-Aid pitcher? And I've got a uh, hose here. We'll call this the straw to stay with the theme here. And I've got a little right angle connector. So basically, you see what I'm going to do. Um, I'll stick that in my jug. The other end here will connect to that. We'll turn on the pump. And if the Kool-Aid gets sucked out of the jug, it's not the pump. So let me get everything set up for us. Okay, now we're ready for the Kool-Aid test. What I've done is I've, I've taken this end off and I'm, I'm already suspecting it's the motor. And I'll tell you why, because when I took this filter off, water was pouring out of here. I had to get my little water snake guy down here. And um, uh, so that tells me if there was a breach in this feeding line, the supply line, then I don't know that I would have had as much water pressure in this line right here. Um, so that's just an observation. Now I've got my, I'm gonna call this blue thing my straw, okay? Going into my Kool-Aid jug, right? All right, hey, yeah. So here I'm connected into the end feed side of my water pump and we've got our blue line going into our jug there. So if you've seen my other videos, you know I have 12 volt tools and everybody always says, oh, little baby 12 volt tool. Watch what I can do with my 12 volt tool. I'm gonna connect this Plus and minus here. Do that with your 32 volt tool. <laughs> now the pump is running. You hear it running. So if that pump is running, we should see suction. Well, here's what I expect. If the if all the fitting, uh, faucets and everything are off on the inside, then this pump should build up pressure and shut its mouth, right? But it's not building up pressure. And if I stick my hand in here, I should feel some suction on this. There you go. I should feel some suction right here, and it's not. I don't feel any suction. So I should have water being sucked in. If I have a faucet open on the inside, then I should have water flow. If I have all my faucets closed on the inside, then I should have my motor reach the 40 PSI preset and turn itself off. So I don't have any suction at all, and it's not sucking my Kool-Aid up, and the pump is not being quiet. You know, it's not, it's not um, satisfying the limit switch, which is down here on the head. And there, if you do need to, I just unplugged my wire. If you ever do need to adjust these things, let's say your pump's going on off, on off, on off, on off when you're running your water, then there's a screw on the head of this pump. You can adjust that pressure switch. It's in the head of this. So it looks to me that this pump has failed. And so with that, let's take the pump out. Let's compare it out here in the yard. I have a new pump. Let's compare this pump to the new pump, same exact test and verify that it is in fact the pump. Okay, so we'll do that next. Okay, so now I've got the motor out. Um, I've got a new pump here. This is the one I stock in my trailer. Here's the old pump. I still have my, my straw on it, right? So what I wanna do is, now that it's out here, let's test. Same 
let's do the same test on a new pump and an old pump and that'll help help prove that it's the pump you know what i mean okay so suspected bad pump known good pump uh power supply so plus is here Okay, and let's get my straw in here. Now if this works, then I expect water to shoot out of this hole right here. Okay, pump is running, um, and, and there's no water coming out of here. So let's do the same exact test on this new pump and see if, if we nailed it with the pump being bad. I already spilled my Kool-Aid once, so I don't want to spill it again. So we're going to take this off. We suspect he's bad. Here's my arrow, so I know I'm going this way. Okay. So if this works, water's gonna shoot out here. Plus. Minus. There we go. So, as you see, it was the pump. So, now we're gonna put this in there, okay? So now that was how you would test, that's how you're gonna test your pump if you have the situation, is it the pump or is it the water line? And I call it the Kool-Aid test. So, um, let me clean all this up and uh, reassemble Stephanie for those uh, short circuit fans. So, bad, good, and uh, now we'll turn two and climb back in the hole again. Well folks, there you have it. What we've done is, the last time you saw it, the, the, um, the motor, we did the test on the ground here, and uh, we, we, we kind of proved that the problem was with the pump. Um, we've put a new pump in, we've turned it on, and it's holding pressure. And uh, what that indicates is that the, the, and that's a good way to test for leaks. Like in the springtime when you're getting your coach ready, go ahead and turn your water pump on, put, put water in your fresh tank, turn on your water pump, and the thing should build up pressure about 40 PSI, and, um, and then it should be quiet. Uh, and if it's quiet, then there's no leaks. It's built up pressure and it's holding. Uh, if your pump kind of turns on in the middle of the night at three o'clock, then, then, then somewhere there's, there's water escaping from its downstream system. So if this was helpful to you, give us a thumb up. That's how you can thank us. Subscribe to our channel. It's on the YouTube. You go to Marvy Works and subscribe to our channel. We've got playlists for all types of repairs that we're doing, and we've got more coming up. So share it with your friends, share it with your neighbor. And uh, so this is Darren from Port Angeles, Washington, signing off until the next video. Thank you.